okay so uh, the next we will see that how to load the data from the web file okay web hmm. web file it can be any web service integration just like a rest api or javascript api hmm. or a web service or simply a html file okay so let's just try to uh -huh. browse something from the internet it has made the integration easy hmm. um, states of india anything states state table we have anything we want Wikipedia, the MSP table, yes. This is a table. We have states, yeah. population, largest state. states. So, in this particular, uh, see, this web page is, a is having a collection of structural and unstructural data. Right? So, what is the structural data? Right. Mm -hmm. Structural data is this one completely a uh, uniform number of rows and columns. Okay, mm -hmm. and here this is a structural data union territory. This can be uh, a part of our master data as well. This can be also master data, however, master. these are all, right. this cannot be because these are all the unstructural data the paragraphs, and there there's no scientific with this data. So, anyways. I'll just copy this one and try to locate web file. It will by default locate it. I'll give it. When I'll try to select the data from it. Field name, you can choose embedded field names. So by default, it located the structural data. So I'll just choose what are the fields. Mm -hmm. We just try to identify the table names okay. because these are all HTML data. So wherever they find uh, complete tables, they will try to show you. They will try to show you. So this is one table which is having a list. This is one table. Uh, paragraph because HTML itself is a uh, yeah this probably a table yes you got how it is getting the data from the web page because uh -huh. Uh -huh. I got it. there are three tables which is visible to us but for compiler there are many tables because HTML itself is you know completely a table and inside that there could be multiple table and this is this is a table Okay, where we have uh, UI, ULLI, all those concepts will be there. So, 
it is taking the data from the wave and just generating the tables and the number of columns you will find from this table is the third one this one okay. yeah this one is the union territory table right how easy it is i mean just open the web service uh -huh. get their data there is no table here it's completely unstructured data Mostly in uh, Wikipedia, I am getting something good. Yeah. This is unstructured data. Unstructured data. This should be good. This would be a good table. You can join by state also. Yes, you can join by state also. So, wave. States of India. Another way better of creating web file. Click one and then web uh, language. Language of India. So while browsing, the data you will get mostly one table. Yes, the first table is having four fields. Probably this one, one, two, three, four. Yes. Other were the paragraphs, so it is not considered to be the table. And others also. There are many more tables, so they will come. States, Arunachal Pradesh, uh, Hindi. We have Hindi. Odisha, Odia, Punjab, Punjab. Okay, so this is a good table, and the field names will be embedded field names. See the uh, collection can collection of this uh, folder, the for wave uh, data collection can be in this way. Like you can get a GIS data from the Google Map. From KML files, mm -hmm. like list of countries and their longitude latitude. You can get a data from the shared drive in Excel, and you can get data from the XML. Obviously, XML is the output of your web service, right? So, any third-party mm -hmm. web service you are integrating, whether it is a REST API or it is a web service, the output is XML. So, very easily it, it can get. The data from the web service. The way I show you the data from the wave, same way we can get a web service. So I've got a table very easily. Load data. Probably this will join with those other tables. So yes. This is state. And you see the data. Here we have got all this data. Very nice concept. Very interesting. Yeah. Right, right. Robust data model we can create with this. So I can just uh, give this table name as uh,